Hey guys, thanks for tuning into SimTech channel. So I've got a simple light circuit here. So we've got the circuit breaker on my incoming and I've, I've got my simple light switch here and the bulb. So if I turn my circuit breaker into on position, I'll be able to control the light here by simply on and off. But now the problem here is this circuit breaker, right? This circuit breaker is not capable of detecting if there is a leakage current in my circuit. So this can cause a shock hazard. If let's say this was not a light bulb and it's an electrical equipment like a microwave which has a casing. So if there is a current leaking into the casing and you come in contact, you can potentially get a shock that can be very harmful and fatal. Okay, so this is where you need a leakage circuit breaker, something like this, right? Or an RCD device, a residual current device. Okay, so now this uh, leakage circuit breaker, basically the way it works is, as you can see, it's a double pole. So you got your live and neutral coming in. So now this clever equipment here will be able to measure the current flowing into your live wire. Okay and then compare it with the current flowing out like on the neutral wire so if the current on the live wire is not equal to the current on the neutral wire then basically tell you well there have been a leakage current because the current that went in is not the same current that's coming out this unit won't tell you exactly how much is leaking but based on the settings that you can set to it so as you can see there this leakage circuit breaker will trip when the current leaking out of the circuit is equal or greater than 30 milliamps. Now, that 30 milliamps is very big. Uh, it's, it's, it's a lot of current that can cause a lot of harm into a human uh, heart. Now, you might say that the 30 milliamps is insignificant compared to how much can be drawn into a circuit because that 30 milliamps will not power any equipment. Yes. But the 30 milliamps can cause your heart to go into a different beat or rhythm and potentially causing a heart attack or severe injuries to yourself. So this is why this breaker here will trip your circuit when it detects that leakage. Okay, now, but how do you test it if it's still working? Now, you can see there is a white button here, this one, right? Now, as I'm pressing it, nothing is happening, okay? Nothing is happening. Normally, if this thing is on the on position, if I press the white button, it should trip the circuit. And this will indicate that the internal circuit is still operating, right? It's functional. So what I'm going to do here, in this circuit here, I'm going to break the circuit here at the chalk block, and I'm going to insert the leakage breaker, insert with my circuit, to feed into my light switch so then the, the leakage breaker will receive power and will be energized that way when i press the white button here the circuit should be able to trip and if it doesn't trip then i know this leakage breaker is not in good condition is basically not good okay so let's go ahead and do just that okay guys so i've got the rcd right installed into my circuit so now we can go ahead and give it a test. So I'll flip my circuit breaker into the on position. So now I know I've got power into the circuit. Okay, so if I flip the switch button, nothing is happening because the earth leakage breaker is not armed yet. So now I arm the earth leakage breaker. Now I can be able to control my light, okay? So now my light is still working indeed. Now let's go ahead and give a test to the earth leakage breaker the big moment that we were waiting for so now when i press this white button here the circuit should trip if it doesn't then i know this thing is broken here so let's go there we go so now i press it and the light went off so which means the earth leakage breaker is indeed working now before you turn it back on if you just push it up it's not going to work right you just push it up it's not gonna work so you must push it down first and up again to rearm it and you can test it again as many times as you want but just don't break it by constantly testing it so now we know that the earth leakage breaker here is indeed working okay and if I install this now into my 
circuit where I'm going to be using a lot of equipment, then I know I have protection. Okay, so the risk of electrical shock is not going to be there. Now, make no mistake, I still need my circuit breaker here to trap in case there is a high current that is too dangerous to maybe cause a short circuit or break the equipment. Then this circuit breaker here, which says it's 15 amp, must trap. Okay, so if you connect an equipment that going to draw more than 20 amps, then this breaker must trap. You say, oh, oh. I was not rated for that amount of current, so I will trap to protect everything. Right, and this one here will only trip for small current greater than 30 amps to protect yourself. Okay, so this is basically how it operates. Thank you guys for watching. If you find this tutorial useful, please subscribe to Simtech channel and give it a thumbs up. That will be highly appreciated. I thank you so very much. Until next time, cheers.